Hello, hello everyone. Yeah, happy Monday. It is a new week and a new project. <laughs> you are on Tony's Witchy Arts and Crafts and I'm Tony. Hi, hello. Um, I'm going to start a new junk journal today. But before I get into that, I want to do a reminder that I have started a birthday challenge giveaway. And what that includes is you gotta do a VR and you gotta make something, send it to me, and yeah. But you'll be winning a $25 gift card and the thing that I made for the swap. So if you want to know all the details to that, I will link the video to that in the description box. I might even link it in the comment section too, so it's easy, you guys can find it easily. Alright, so that's it for that. Um, uh, it's Monday, <laughs> it's a new week, so we have the maintenance men here, uh, working on our, the lawn people, working on the yard, so if you hear a leaf floor for a, a minute, don't worry, it will pass. So I apologize ahead of time. Okay, so I'm going to do a really cool, it's going to be a spell bottle junk journal with actual spell bottles in it. So what I'm using is these um, bottles from Dollar Tree. So these are going to go in there. Um, some... Are, are, they're all going to get decorated, but some are going to have stuff in them and some aren't. Because whoever ends up with the journal, I want them to be able to put their own potions or herbs inside them to use, right? So. Sorry for the crinkling. I probably should have had these out and ready to show you, but I wanted to show you that, yeah, you can get all kinds, um, you can get the, yeah, these kind, with the screw on lids. Dollar Tree has all kinds of tiny little spell bottles, they're really cool. So, yeah. So, we're going to use that, and then this I actually found a few months ago at Joann's, and so this is going to be... Uh, a charm that goes on the side, which I think I'm going to reinforce it with some extra glue just so it doesn't pop off, but it's going to be a charm. So I thought that was cool. I have already cut down my cereal box. I was thinking that I was going to cut my cereal box down and get it covered and just have it ready for you guys because, you know, that's the boring part. But if you're brand new and want to watch me do everything from step to step, then I'll do it. I mean, I've done it before, but those videos are way down my list because I'm already past like 420 videos because <laughs> I tend to post every day because this is my life. This is what I do every day. So I cut my cereal box down. This is going to be a big one. This spine is three inches, okay? And the cereal box, I didn't even measure, um, about seven and a half across. So I didn't, I didn't cut anything off the side here. The only thing, the only thing I cut off was the extra spine, okay? And then across, let's see, um, up and down, it looks just about 12 inches. Um, but I did cut off some from the top. Okay. So I cut that off because it was just slightly too tall for me. But what we're going to do is... I made sure that there's going to be plenty of room for all my pages that I stick in here and plenty of room for all the, the spell bottles. There's going to be a box here that goes across and it's going to have a lid. 
it's going to be all padded and decorated, but I wanted to make sure that there was enough space for those spell bottles to sit in that box there. So there's my spell box, and I'm just going to cover it with this uh, Dollar Tree it's from Crafter Square. It's just a plain black fabric, which I've already cut one down to size. All I had to do was cut this little tiny strip off the bottom, which I will reuse either in the journal or on a different project. So I got that all ready to go. Um, I got a bunch of pages here. So all those flowers that I received for Mother's Day, once they started dying, I will um, pluck them all off and use them in uh, um, yeah, like an eco tea dyeing page. So what I do is I'll layer all the flowers in between the pages and the leaves, even the leaves, like any plant life. I like this one. These were roses and some leaves. And sometimes I'll put some um, something rusty in between. Sometimes the rust will leave like really cool patterns. So we're gonna use some of these in there. So there's there's one of those rust things. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, this I put some. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. Um, there's some lace pattern in there. So I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but I thought these turned out really cool. I even put a little bit of splatter on the papers of my inks. But I think this would go really cool in these journals. So I've got a whole bunch of those done. Okay, and then I have the Dash of Dave printables that Silver Moon Creations sent me. Okay. Dash of Dave. Okay. Or dash. I keep pointing out this way. I knew it was right here. Dash of Dave. Right here. Dash of Dave. Okay. Um, and all kinds of cool images in here. Now look at that. It looks wicked, huh? So, and then what I really like about this digital is all the spell bottles. And how vibrant they look. Oh, here comes the leaf blower again. <laughs> oh, this page looks really cool. But yeah, they're kind of all like that. What I really like about these, I think these digitals might have been computer generated. Because you can see how some of the bottles don't quite like their... But it's okay, I can still work with that. That's really cool. What I really like is like, you can see like wispy, like energy or spirit, like, it's cool. Love it, love it, love it. So yeah, I got, I mean, a bunch here. It's so cool. I might even have tons left over. So that's cool. And then I've got this. Um, some of these pages I might want to squeeze in somehow. Um, but they're all like full length instead of side. So what I think is going to happen with these is um, I'm going to have the pages here and then the spell bottles here, right? But these pages up here, let me find that one I have folded here. So 
So these pages right here are only going to go so far, like they only go to the bottle, right? So I'm thinking that I might have these bigger pages go over the top of everything. So when you open the book, you don't see the spell bottles right away. You have to flip a few pages to see them. Like a hidden, like a hidden secret. How cool would that be? So I think that's what I'm going to do with those. And then um, I picked out some um, like my fancy papers. Uh, I picked out some of these because I wanted to use some of these like border strips in there for that. And then I wanted this one because I like I like the forest scene. Find the magic. Yeah, so I think those will go in there. I like this one with the roses and these moths. And then I like this one. Really, really nice. So, I might end up finding a few more pages I might want to squeeze in there too. <laughs> yeah, so I think I got a good start. Of course, might even put some of these in the journal and black lace and, you know, can you see what's going on? And then on the front of the journal, I think I'm going to go with my daughter's idea is incorporate a, a bottle shape on top of the journal. <laughs> so yeah. So how is everyone doing today? Making something amazing, right? Alright, so I'm getting my messy mat out here. And I'm just going to start gluing the fabric on. So how was everyone's weekend? Oh, you know what? I have to tell you something. I finally left the house yesterday. <laughs> um, I found a really cool community in my town here. Um, I'm not going to mention any titles or names just in case there's privacy issues. You know, people want to keep their identity private. But um, they were giving out these uh, gift bags. So I got some rose petals to use and stuff. I got a, a witch's tea mix. Um, there was an awesome singer there. She was beautiful. That was her card there. And a little tea, like a little teaspoon. This was so cool. Love, 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 love. But the admin of the group, um, she loves making junk journals too. So I'm hoping that I just found a really awesome friend that can craft with me in person. <laughs> so that would be super awesome. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. It's really rare when I leave the house to socialize because I don't do that. You, you guys should know me by now. I don't do that. <laughs> okay. So I'm wondering how I should do this. So what did everyone do on the weekend? Now that I've told you guys what I've done. Do share. Don't be shy. Okay. So I think I'm just going to... Just start uh, getting messy here. Um, I keep thinking I should probably find some gloves when I'm working with a bunch of glue so I don't have to get glue all over my fingers. So tell me what your plans were this weekend. Like, what did you do? And if you don't want to share that, then... Are you excited to see how this journal is going to turn out? Because I am. This image of this journal has been stuck in my head for like weeks. And every time I think I'm going to start on it, something comes up. Either I have to go do errands or I do a 
something else. Just, you know. But I think this is the week. We're going to get started on it. <laughs> and I'm just going to, like, probably go crazy with the glue here, but we're just going to. Okay. Uh... Okay. So. I'll squish it down. I had a lot of fun. My outing yesterday was, um, it was a brunch. So I had some yummy food and listened to some awesome music. Very pretty music. If you guys were ever curious on what kind of music I listen to, I have a playlist of music that I listen to in my craft room. Yeah. And the music I listened to yesterday in my outing was kind of like that. Very, very pretty. Okay, so like you like if you've done journals before you know like the glue will come through the fabric right and kind of show up i am not worried about that at all because there's going to be a bunch of stuff all over this journal and you won't even see it you will not see it at all Getting this down as a base. I could have painted it, but I don't like how the paint makes cardboard ripple. So. Um, and on the inside cover, I think I might put some pretty paper. So I might have to pick out some more paper to put in it. So, how many of you have made journals before? And do you like making them? And if you haven't made a journal yet, but want to, you should tell me what you're gonna make. Like, what theme? Or... Does anybody have any junk journal tips on, like, technique on something? I feel like some of us don't share enough of that, you know? I think that's enough glue. <laughs> I don't go crazy with the glue. Yeah. So. I think I'm going to let this set aside. Um, maybe I should glue these down first and then let it set aside. And then we can fold our pages and get them ready. And I, I have another question. Um, 
What's your favorite technique on um, getting your pages put into your journals? Like, do you like to tie, tie in, sew in, glue in? My favorite is uh, I love to tie in my signatures because um, I personally like it that way. And I hope other people do too. <laughs> because... If you mess up or decide that you want a page that you just worked really hard on in a different spot, you can slide them in and out. So that's why I do mine that way. Because sometimes I can be in, in, indecisive, undecisive, <laughs> as my husband says. I was struggling with self-control last night. He made cookies, right? And cookies are like my huge weakness, right? Um, and I already had four cookies. I waited a while and I was like, oh, honey, can you get me some more? And he's like, are you sure? <laughs> You've already had four. I was like, why? I know I want you to help me with that, you know, but why do you have to point it out? He's like, I'll get up and get you some. I was like, no, you're already ruined the mood. <laughs> Oops. I feel like sometimes I don't have enough space in here. I just have too much stuff. <laughs> it's amazing though. Oh, and then, okay, so my outing was on Sunday, and then Saturday, my daughter and her friend came over, and um, my daughter just got back from a camping trip, so she brought me a stick from the forest that she was camping in, and then she had a, a big stick. Mine, more, mine was more like a wand. I was, here, I'll show you. I was working on mine. Okay, so here it is. Not cool. So um, I kind of sprayed it with a little bit of ink and then I put some wire on here first, some copper wire all the way up, right? And then I took some purple yarn just so like it grips better, right? <laughs> put the goddess on there, the tree of life. My tiger's eye for power. And then I, I'm going to put a crystal up in here. But hers was more like, her stick was more like walking stick size. She's going to turn hers into a broom. And so she was um, putting some pretty uh, fabric on hers and carving initials and symbols in hers and stuff. And she had to order... She thought I had some, but I, I ran out. Um, she thought I had some of that stuff that you make brooms out of. The bristles. But I do not. So she had to order some. So she probably will be back next week. To finish it off. But then her friend was making this really pretty mirror. Okay, I got them all cut. Um, Okay, so I, I should do these two. Um, her friend was making kind of like a magic mirror, but it would. She found it where it was gifted to her, or something, and it was all black with some purple highlights. But her friend's uh, that's not her favorite colors. She likes. Uh, pinks and whites and stuff so she painted it white and then we like highlighted some of the fine details on the wood um, with my gold paste and it looked really cool and then she glued on some seashells and pearls and um, some um, diamonds and jewels because she was kind of going with a like a 
pirate slash mermaid feel with the seashells and the gems and I was like that's so cool it turned out really cool especially with all the seashells with pearls on it it was it was super cool but she was gonna hang it in her bedroom Okay, so I got my little notches out. And now I'm just going to start gluing them down. Okay, so I always do the bottom and the top and then the sides later. I think it just looks nicer. That way. This is where I tend to get my fingers messy. <laughs> there we go. And that sticks down quite well. I like that. I was getting, told her I was jealous that she went camping. It's been three years since I've been diagnosed with fibromyalgia. I don't think there's any way I can go camping now. Not unless um, I had some really good pain pills. <laughs> and I slept in the car and stepped in the tent. <laughs> Somewhere, I, I've heard uh, my daughter's grandpa talk about her grandpa that's on her dad's side. Um, talk about there's cabins that you can rent up in the mountains um, for campers. You can rent cabins for the weekend somewhere, somewhere here in Idaho. So if I was really chosen and had the money, I probably will look it up and find out where. Yeah. Do you know in July, I have, my birthday is July 12th and we, my husband and I also have an anniversary in July, July 2nd. We have three different anniversaries. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to keep up. Okay, so our first, our very first anniversary we ever celebrated was the day we met. The day he says that he fell in love with me. <laughs> it was on Thanksgiving at a friend's house. This is where I met him. I said something really embarrassing. I don't know why I said it in front of him. And he just loved it. <laughs> That's what made him fall in love with me. I'm like, okay. You goofy. <laughs> and then our second anniversary would be um, January 4th? January 4th. Um, his mom uh, hired an ordained priest to come to our apartment complex and we rented out the it's like a little pool community hall and um, we had a little celebration with our friends and family my mom came and his mom rented a camera and filmed everything and we had cake and ice cream and I pretty much just wore the previous dress I had at that time right and then July 2nd is when I had um, my uh, Wiccan priestess um, marry us again, like a hand fasting. 
and that had all of our Wiccan friends there and we had our own sweets that we preferred and and stuff. I had a, an altar there set up for my goddess that I hold energy for and so I thought that was super cool. I think that's my favorite one because we got pictures of that one and really pretty pictures because I was able to wear my like a Wiccan garb and I got my husband to wear a Wiccan garb too and, and I was wearing um, one of my handmade beaded crowns that I made that was sweet. And one of my friends made, she printed off photos and made a photo book for us, like a wedding album. So I thought that was super sweet. Well, this one's much bigger. So I gotta go all the way up here. get this glued on here and then I'm gonna check my time hopefully I haven't went over <laughs> I'm bad at keeping track of my time I really am okay so I'm gonna let this side set aside and dry okay and then let me check my time first. Okay, I'm going to have to stop there, guys. So this will be part one. And look out for part two. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Talk to you later. Bye.